Good evening. You may have heard this before, but exercise is good for your health. Decades of research have shown that regular physical activity leads to a greater physical well-being, a better mood state, improved metabolic health, and even a more robust immune function. So together, exercise may not only improve your health, but reduce your risk of disease, even cancer. The underlying concept is that exercise fights off cancer indirectly by better preparing the body to protect itself against diseases in general. And while this is exciting news for anyone who has cancer, we think there's something more. My lab has pondered the concept that there is a tangible, direct connection between contracting muscles with exercise and cancer. To evaluate this concept, my colleagues and I developed a series of studies where we would collect factors coming out of skeletal muscle before and during contractions to see if those substances impacted breast cancer cells grown in a Petri dish. I won't bore you with the details, but what this allowed us to do is systematically test those substances on cancer independent of all the other known benefits of exercise. While this concept seems a bit simplistic, our results could not have been more profound. Every time we added factors from contracting muscle to breast cancer cells, cancer growth slowed down. And it wasn't that the cells were dying off, it's that they started behaving more normally. Every time we added factors from contracting muscle to rodents carrying breast cancer tumors, tumors stopped growing. I will tell you that this is unique to exercise because if I collect factors from non-contracting muscle, it has no impact on cancer whatsoever. We have since duplicated these results in a variety of cancers, including lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, and even glioblastoma multiform, which is unique to the brain or spinal cord. We feel that this is evidence that there is a direct connection between exercise and your ability to fight off cancer in the body. So how does this work? Think of it like a car. The car has an accelerator and a brake pedal, which I'm going to use as metaphors for two key proteins in the cell that either facilitate its growth or prevent its growth. You put your foot on the gas, the cell grows. You put your foot on the brake, the cell stops growing. What happened is that every single time that we put factors from contracting muscle on these cells, we saw that there was an increase in the breaking. Now, what happened is, bottom line is, cells become cancerous when they lose their ability to apply the brakes. And it's not that the brakes don't work anymore, it's that they completely disappear. What really fascinated us with our research is that the, not only do the brakes go away, but that the gas pedal actively destroys those brakes and prevents their replacement. Again, adding exercise factors from skeletal muscle, we saw a robust increase in this brake protein forcibly stopping the cancer to grow. So I would love to tell everybody in here to go out and exercise, but I think we all know that this sometimes isn't possible or plausible, particularly with disease. So we needed to find a way to duplicate this exciting impact of exercise through other means. What we elected to do is permanently insert a, an additional break gene into the cell, one that looked and functioned identically to the original break protein, but custom designed in a way that it did not fall prey to the gas pedal an emergency break, if you will. Using this technique, we were able to completely reproduce our results with cancer, or with exercise, 
independent of the exercise factors. Now, unfortunately, when we blocked the function of our newly installed e-brake, cells reverted back to their cancerous state. So while unfortunately we did not cure cancer, I will close with the exciting news that our e-brake modification dramatically slowed the progression of cancer, forcing those cells to behave more normally. We're hopeful that these experiments might lead to future therapies to help people with these types of cancers. Thank you.